Hey there, I'm Dee Woodward from Get It By Design, the ultimate online resource for using design as a marketing tool for your business. And today, I wanted to show you a really quick and easy way of creating those repeatable images that you see are used quite a lot as background images on websites or on social media posts. So that instead of using a stock image, you can create your own from a photo that you take of any um, graphics that you see out there, any prints that are unique to you, you can take a quick picture and using this video tutorial, I'll show you step by step how to convert that image into a repeatable visual that you can use across all your marketing. So to get started, take a photo of a graphical print or something that you want to use that is representative of who you are and fits with your brand style. So on this screen you can see in front of you a photo that I took of the wallpaper that was in my old kitchen. Now I love this wallpaper, it's very much it speaks to me, it's got that kind of camper van lifestyle, it's very graphical, it's bold but subtle, it's got a very warm texture to it. So taking this image into Photoshop, I'm just going to edit the shade and the tone a little bit so that we've got a lighter version of the image. So if we go into image adjustments and I'm going to click on levels and I'm just going to play around with these levels. Now you can use these eyedropper picker tools um, to go in and select the dark and select the light and that if you've got a photo usually helps balance out the visual impact of the image but as you can see here it's not really working very well with this picture particularly because of the bright contrast of colours that we've got so instead I'm going to click reset and then I'm just going to drag the sliders up and down until we start to get that slightly lighter feeling to the image so it's not quite so bright and dark contrast. Okay and now I'm happy with that I'm going to create a new document and this needs to be a square image to start with so I'm just going to go in and set it at 210 just to give us a basic square. Now this is going to be the document that we use to create our repeatable image in. So taking the photograph, I'm just going to simply drag and drop that into the new file that we've created. And you can see it is quite a big square that we've created here. 210, 210 is a lot bigger than the original image. And that's actually going to be a lot bigger than we need to use when it comes to the digital pictures. So I'm going to go in and change the size of the canvas. So let's go for 10 and let's see how that works. So you can see how this image now fits in this square. It's still a little bit small. So what I'm going to do is play with the size here and just bring it out so that you've got a nice um, capture. You're capturing the best parts of all of these images because this is a photo rather than a flat uh, graphic. Some of the angles of the vans are slightly different. So I'm just going to go in and just move this around until I'm happy that I've got the best version of each of these elements in this square. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just move it around a little bit so you can see at the top here we've got a van, we've got the uh, scooters, van scooter, and those are fitting inside the box. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit more just so that we can get those top vans in there. Okay, now we've done that, we need to go in and remove these overspill of the images from the edges. So we don't want any pictures going over, bleeding over the edge here. So I'm just going to use the eraser tool and simply go around all the edge and remove any of these images which aren't complete images. Let's zoom in so we can see this a little bit easier. So any part of this picture that's bleeding off the edge, I'm just going to use the eraser tool to delete. Okay, so that now leaves us with a slight change from the light to the dark of the background. So I'm going to go into image and adjustments and I'm going to, I'm going to choose this replace colour option and then select the darker colour that's at the top and use the lightness slider along the bottom here to 
change the lightness of that one particular colour. And then she can see that really helps her tone it out so that we don't have so much of a change between the gradient of the dark colour at the top and the light colour at the bottom. Now I'm just going to go in again and use my eraser tool but this time selecting the feathered edge version just go in and neaten up these edges. Okay so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to create a duplicate now of this layer just to be on the safe side we're going to go in and start chopping things around and editing it so I always create a duplicate layer so that if anything happens you know you've got a version saved. Okay, I'm going to delete these at the top because they're not as good as the ones at the bottom and we've actually got those two lines we'll be repeating. Uh, so the top line, you don't want it to be the same as what's on the bottom row. Okay, so I'm going to copy this as our layer and that is going to be the main part of our repeatable image. So we've got some holes to fill. So we can draw and lasso around some of the different bands here and just start to copy and paste those into the blank spaces until we've got our own version of this repeating pattern but all fitted nicely within the white box so we don't want any images touching or going over the edges at this stage. Okay, so move this, these all around and once we're happy with that there's a few big white spaces kind of at the top here, but don't worry about that too much at the moment. Next up, we're going to use the square tool to draw around each quarter of the image. So to be able to make sure you've got the right size, first of all, you're going to want to know what size your square is. Once you know what size your square is, you can just divide that by two. And then using the fixed size tool, um, you can define the width and the height of the rectangle that you draw in and this will mean that you get the exact size that we need to. So then just go and you place these in the corner and then copy and paste a new layer so that you've got four new layers with one of each of the quarters of your image in. Okay, now the fun bit happens next. This is where we take the each quarter I'm going to take each quarter of the image and you're going to move it to completely the opposite side of the image. So for example, this bottom left hand corner goes to the top right. The bottom right corner goes to the top left and vice versa. So you're moving each square to the complete opposite and you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Now you can see we've got a big white space in the middle and it's not quite matching up. It's, it's got a bit of a gaping hole in the, in the centre here. So I'm going to go to the layer that I copied earlier and saved. So I'm just going to hide the new quarter layers and I'm going to go back to this saved image. And I'm going to just cut again and paste some of the smaller images so that we've got a few extra bits to play with. Now when we turn back the quarters on, we can start to move around these new duplicate images and start to fill in those blank spaces. And once you're happy with that, you've got the very starting point for your repeatable image. Now I'm going to crop so that we've got the very edge of the image, everything's bleeding at the edge because this top what's cropped off at the top will fit nicely with what's cropped off at the bottom and again the same on the sides. And then we can save this as a PNG or a JPEG and you have then created your very own repeatable image. So in the next video I'm going to show you how you can take this image that we've just created, import it into your Optimize Press website and set it as a repeatable image in the background so that you can style your own web headers on your sales page, on your main website, wherever you need to. You can use your own branded, styled, repeatable image that you've just created in a few moments using Photoshop into your Optimize Press based website.